So even though we've had our bees for only a, about two months or so, they have already grown, the hive has already grown large enough to have a swarm. And they ended up on Memorial Day in a tree about 20 feet up in the air is where the queen took them. And we had to figure out how to get them out of there and get them back. We called a local bee group and a couple came out. They were very nice to help us out and come help us get the swarm. First they tried uh, using this where you bang a couple pieces of metal together uh, to attract them, but that didn't work, so we shook the tree branch and they all came dropping out. But because there were so many branches and stuff in the way, they didn't quite drop into the box the way that we would have hoped. But we lucked out. The queen went back to our main lands hive, and of course all the other bees followed her over there. And this is them swarming. So we were waiting for them to uh, kind of get settled in and start looking for the queen. Um, so we're going through the frames, and uh, unfortunately here one frame slipped. <laughs> it happens sometimes uh, where Michael slipped with the frame, but uh, we quickly, uh, you know, did a little bit of smoke and got him calmed back down again. So once they were all back in there, we did go through and notice that there was a lot of queen cups in the hive, which means we could have a potential for another swarm. Uh, so Carrie uh, brought over a swarm trap that maybe help and try to attract them if they happen to swarm again. So we got this swarm trap mounted up in one of our pine trees right next to the tree where they had swarmed before. Carrie and Michael also loaned us this uh, little, they call the Franken Hive, which is a mix of a Langstroth Hive and a regular vertical hive, short hive. Uh, we were able to find the queen and we put her in a queen clip along with uh, a couple of frames in here with some bees. And so right here, I'm releasing the queen now after she's been in there for about three days um, into this little temporary hive to kind of get things going. And then we also put empty frames in there so that um, they could start building comb where we could then transfer them into my other vertical hive. And here we're just checking the status of kind of see what, what's been going on in there over the last uh, two or three days. Then we went back to check on the main hive uh, to see how things were progressing there. And we went through uh, several of the frames. There was a lot of busy work going on there. Still a lot of eggs uh, and brood. Uh, honey is the lighter colored pot up that you see at the top and then the brood at the lower part of the frames. But in here we did find probably seven or eight queen cups and so we know that they are hatching uh, another queen, at least one. Um, we're hoping that whoever hatches first goes in and takes care of the other queen cups um, so that we don't end up with another swarm. Also, I added a bunch more frames to this hive to make sure they had enough room. But you can maybe see the long hanging ones there that she's pointing to. And that is two queen cups right there together. Okay, so I wanted to do this last little bit uh, out by the new beehive, but it's raining out right now, so I'm sitting in the greenhouse. But just to give you a quick update. So we got the queen in that temporary hive along with 
um, a couple of frames from the Lands Hive because that Franken Hive that Michael and Carrie loaned us uh, will hold both uh, Lands Hives, Lands Hives size frames um, that are deeper and a little bit wider uh, than your standard vertical hive. But it also holds vertical hive frames. So we put new frames in from the vertical hive as well as we took two or three frames out that had honey, nectar, bees, uh, brood and everything on it and put that in the temporary hive as well to kind of get them working in there. Uh, so we got the new queen in there and we are going to move them over into the permanent vertical hives because I have a second vertical hive, vertical hive that we're going to move them all into. But the thing is, is that they have to build comb for a place for the queen to lay her eggs on the smaller frames for the vertical hive. And they hadn't done that yet when we checked them a few days ago. Uh, so they're still working with the bigger frames. What will basically happen is once they build enough comb on the new smaller frames, we will move all of those bees and the queen into the new permanent vertical hive uh, with those smaller frames. And then we will take the frames that we took out of the lands hive, the bigger ones, and move them back over into the the main hive where all the other bees are. And so that's kind of how we're gonna do the split. But we have to wait for that to happen. So that will, hopefully by the end of this week, we'll be able to get that done. And then I will have a full on, very busy lands hive along with a new growing vertical hive. Uh, and so you'll get more updates on that. So hopefully that will all work out the way it's supposed to. Uh, so far, nothing has been caught in the swarm trap. Um, they, the bees were kind of crazy busy the couple of days after the swarm because it was really hot out. So a lot of them were bearding outside of the hive and there was a lot of activity where there was big masses of bees outside the hive. But they've kind of calmed down now that the hot weather has gone. It's kind of back to normal again. And we're seeing activity on the temporary hive. Um, you know, worker bees, uh, foragers and stuff coming and going. And we have it set so the queen can't get out of that one. It's just the opening is only wide enough for the um, foragers and stuff to get in and out of. So, so that's all that. Um, so stay tuned for more updates on the bee stuff as well as there, so there's gonna be more gardening videos. We got more stuff coming up on deer resistant plants you can grow in your garden. Uh, I'm doing a product review on uh, some garden string lights. Um, updates on the garden as a whole. Uh, there'll be more for the flax and the cotton that we're growing if you've kept up with any of that. So stay tuned for all of our future videos. But that's it for this beehive swarm video. Whatever's going on in your neck of the woods and with your beehives, your homesteading, your gardens, whatever it is, I hope it's working out great for you and that you are having a fantastic early summer, spring, late spring, whatever it is right now, season. But thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me again today. And we'll see you again soon. Namaste, everybody.